Televisions, computers, cell phones. The changing technology over time has greatly impacted the size, power, and speed that we've come to expect in our electronics. The first call on a mobile phone was made in 1973. The phone weighed almost two and a half pounds, had 30 minutes of talk time, and took 10 hours to charge. Computers started out weighing literally a ton and taking up an entire room. Now we carry them in our pockets. Televisions went from being a square box playing black and white images to a thin flat screen with millions of full color pixels. How far will technology go? Electronics keep getting smaller and more powerful. In 1965, Gordon Moore developed what is now known as Moore's Law, which states that the number of transistors in a dense integrated circuit doubles approximately every two years. Ever since Moore presented this law, we have seen it hold true. Our electronics have continued to shrink and our processing power has continued to grow. But wait, Moore's law is not exactly working anymore. Things are beginning to slow down. Silicon technology has come to a point at which it can no longer keep up. What does this mean? What is next? To go beyond the constraints of Moore's law, we must now actively employ quantum mechanics to develop genuinely quantum technologies, like quantum computation, spintronics, plasmonics, nanophotonics. For these quantum technologies to be realized, we have to develop new non-silicon platforms, materials which possess unique properties and functionalities that silicon does not. Some of these emerging materials are known as low-dimensional or nanomaterials, which include carbon nanotubes, graphene, transition metal dichocogenides, topological insulators, and perviscites. I am Professor Junichiro Kono with Rice University. In my class, we'll explore what's next in this rapid journey of technology. We'll dive into electronic materials on quantum devices and learn how they will impact the future. As physicist Niels Bohr once said, if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it yet.